Hi, welcome back to my channel, Crafting by the River. It's good to see you here today. Thank you so much uh, for calling past. And today I'm sharing what's on my desk. Now, I have been absent for about a week, I guess. I've um, been catching up with a few other jobs around the place. But um, I have managed to do a little bit of crafting in between times. And funnily enough, crafting without the camera on is a bit more freeing, I think, for me. So I thought I'd share what I've been up to in that last week. Just odds and ends. Um, as you can see, pretty much a Valentine theme going on here. I think Instagram's full of hearts and pretty Valentine pieces. So um, these are some of mine. Right, where to start? Well, I started making a few cards. I mean, I, I've put that in the mix, but I've kept it pretty simple, this one, because to be honest, that could be a nice birthday card. I, um, most of these bits, use images from the graphics fairy so um yeah three cards i made that one which as i say could be a birthday card or an ordinary greeting card this one um quite simple and to be honest i've used the pre-folded cards that come with um, envelopes I bought them a oh, long, long time ago, and I really bought them for the different colour card. But I had a few left over, so I thought I'd start playing with them. So that's that one. And this little image I've popped up onto some card. Um, this is another one, quite plain. And I literally used a couple of sheets of six by six papers for these. So three cards. These are um, little um, treat toppers, you know, you can add them to a um, bag of lollies. I'm keeping my eyes open for some heart shaped lollies to add into a little bag. Um, to attach these two for a couple of friends. So, um, yeah, very simple. Literally just print and cut. These are, as I say, graphics fairy images. I've just added some ribbon and some lace to mine. So those are those. And thinking treats, this is a slightly different option. I've decorated a glassine bag for this one with some lace, music paper, more of the graphics fairy images, um, some washi. Simple, but you know, a few scraps of paper and that decorates up really well. Um, from there, I went to these little heart-shaped um, tuck spots, I think I would use them for. I mean, they could be, they could be the start of clusters. I just thought they were a nice idea. So I've got two there. And these are the reason I did these was I cut some shapes on the silhouette. And um, I'll show those with you in a moment to make some pockets. And I mean, these could be the base of pockets. It would be easy to attach them to another piece of card that didn't necessarily have to be heart shaped. It could be, you know, a square and they'd still look quite nice. So that was those. Now these are some stamps. I bought a die and it's sat in the cupboard and never been used that I can remember anyway. So I thought, okay, I'll um, make up a few little stamps. I can remember Liz from Buttons for Brains made some beautiful stamps some time ago. And um, I made a version then, but these use this die. And um, again, just scraps of paper, punched pieces, 
couple of fussy cuts, that's it, and a little um, half sprinkle on that one. These ones, I tried to keep them all attached, but they, um, I didn't succeed. <laughs> These ones I've used tissue paper, scraps of tissue paper, cut a heart shape. And these are sort of hand cut heart shapes, that's a sticker. This one, my least favorite, I used, um, I used the negative of one of these cutouts and then added a bit of my gel print paper in the middle. But what I'd done previous was I'd added this gold. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, and it's um, the pinata gold. And I was just trying to, this one, and I was trying to originally just to add a little bit around the edge, but it came out so fast. I need to decant it into one of the bottles like this with a thin um, end piece because this comes out too quick really and it's, you know, it is quite thin there but you don't really have an awful lot of control. So I should do that. But anyway, I thought they'd be quite nice to de decorate a page and not necessarily Valentine's. I just thought they were quite, you know, you could add those to a page. Then I had, um, this is a little journal spot, a little journal card opens up to some tea dyed paper. Again, another image from the Graphics Fairy, a little bit of lace on there and I punched a hole, I thought that would look nice hanging on a page. And again, it doesn't necessarily have to be Valentine's. This one is definitely a, um, a little Valentine journal card. Just using up some of my stick-on letters, you know, when we were scrapbooking, I had loads. And you always get left with the odd letters. So I'm gonna start using those on some ephemera pieces. This piece here is another one of these. It's a, um, it's a heart shape onto watercolor card and then just painted with watercolor paints. This one, I used this, some silver over the top. This one is plain, but they're, you know, just a little journal card to pop into a pocket. This is another one and this one opens up and again using scraps um, it actually is the bottom part of this piece another of those pre-made cards and I just thought popped into a pocket that could be you know really um, handy journaling piece um, scraps of the papers that I'd been using the six by six and some lace on that one and here's the top half of that card. And again, just um, layering up a graphics fairy image over to some six by six card stock and a couple of pieces, sari silk and some music paper. And that opens up. And I was thinking that could go on a ring too, on a page, or just attach to a page as a flip. Don't know, lots of uses really for that. And then these were the things that actually started me off. I, um, I've made smaller versions of these, but I wanted to do some um, using a slightly larger version with Valentine in, Valentine's Day in mind. And for these, I cut on the machine two pieces in the heart shape. One was scalloped and one was plain and I've just taken the top off the plain one. Collage some papers, scraps over it, added a butterfly and these are gel printed die cuts here to decorate that pocket. And then inside that pocket, you can add pieces of ephemera. Um, could be small hearts, um, could be the stamps. 
you know, just smallish pieces to pop in there. So um, that was the first one. Here's another one. And again, I've used all sorts of scraps, more of the um, gel printed die cut piece. And you can see that I've embossed the back with a heart embossing fo uh, folder. Stitched the top heart, which was slightly smaller, to the base to finish it off and form the pocket. And this is the last one. And again, die cuts here and a fussy cut. I think that's actually a moth really, not a butterfly. But I just thought they had really nice pieces to add to a page um, as a pocket. So those are they. And I thought today we might put one together um, and I'll, um, I'll share that with you here. I'll just pop these over there out of the way. And what I've done, I have cut two heart shapes and I've kept them plain and I've done that because what I thought I'd do is I'd zoom in a bit and if you wanted you could take a screenshot of this and then you would have um, a copy of the two hearts. So what I'll do, this is a piece of A4 paper. I'll sit them on here and I know in America your paper is uh, letter size so if I put them in the middle I mean they're going to fit on a letter size piece of paper no problem at all so I'll just scan in a bit uh, should I scan in I'll do twice look I'll go there which you can see the full A4 piece of paper okay there's one And then I will scan in a little bit so you can see that again. Okay, and if you want, take a screenshot and then you should have the shape. Okay, right, let's move that out of the way. So we start by cutting the top piece. And I basically just cut off this area here, slightly below that area. I think that works quite well. It still gives you a bit of space. So I'm just lining up this point here and that point. And then I'll cut mine with a craft knife. And that, there we go. And I'm going to cut it about that point there. Okay. So literally you take the top off. Now, while I was doing that, I thought it might be an idea to tell you what this heart measures. It is it's about four inches across at the widest point and probably about three and three quarters just below four high high. Oh sorry I've got a dry throat. Okay, so that, those are our two pieces. Now, I want to emboss that piece, but I'll do that later. Um, I've got a few bits here that I thought we could use. Just pop these up here so that you can possibly see them. All right, I'm still zoomed in, so I hope you can see this. I've got a few pieces 
and this is my glue background glue paper. All right. So I mean, basically, all you need to do is um, add your strips or your pieces of paper. And I am going to more or less do this in strips, I think, this time. So they'll go something like this. So this is the last piece and this one will go over there. Okay, now I'm going to trim it down. Okay, so that is our piece covered and um, I did think I might add some washi just for a bit of interest but I have this little image that I fussy cut and I kind of wanted that on there. I'm just not sure whether might be a bit of an issue. Um, I'll leave it for now. Because what I'm thinking is I could do it like that. So it does hang over a little bit, but I don't think that shouldn't be an issue. And I think I prefer that piece. It's that little bit smaller. All right, okay. Well, the next thing to do will be to stitch this into position. And where this differs from the, these is that there was, with the scallop, there was a bit of overhang, you know, the background edge. This way you get a bigger pocket um, without the overhang so I need to make sure that I've got that in place quite well. All right before I do that I need to emboss this piece so I'm going to go away emboss this piece then attach the pocket and then we'll decide about this little chat. Okay won't be a moment. Okay so I've just popped all those bits back onto my desk so that you get a bit of a view of what I've done. Um, and this one now, what I did, I embossed both the top and the bottom layer. And I think that looks really nice, embossing over the... Um, collaged piece and then I've stitched all the way around the only thing I haven't done as yet is ink the edges but that definitely should be done um, and this little guy 
I've added some card pieces to the back of him and I think I will add him on. I just have to be a bit careful about what goes in the pocket. But I think he's going on there. And I've done the same with this little heart. And I'm going to put that on there. So, I don't know whether you can see me. I'll just do it here. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been working on while I haven't been filming. So... Um, hope you like these pieces and um, hope there's a little bit of inspiration there for you I mean there's a lot to choose from on Instagram at the moment but um, that's my little selection and I think I'm gonna go for that so his head is still within the shape I'm gonna have to be careful when I put things in and the set, his feet are hanging off, but that will be fine on the page. Um, that shouldn't be an issue at all. Oops. So what I will do is add some glue, and I'm using art glitter glue, to these raised pieces of card. And I'm going to use that to adhere him. I might even put a bit along the edges. Ooh, not at the top. No. Just wipe that off carefully. Yep, that's good. Here he is. And I might find a scrap of this card to put on the back of there so it doesn't look so messy. But yeah, that is it. Let's see if I've got a piece of that card. That's the joy of working with paper, isn't it? You can usually fix up issues. There we go, that looks better. So that's that piece done. And you just really, so long as you don't keep catching the head, and it's quite, it's on, um, I think I printed this on 120 gram cardstock, so it's pretty sturdy. All right, so there you have it. That is my um, what's on my work desk and it's a February themed one for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Hope you like those pieces. Thank you so much for taking the time to call past today. I um, hope you're keeping well and you're busy crafting or you, you manage a little bit of time. I mean, life takes over for all of us, doesn't it? Anyway, I, uh, I'll finish off now, go and take some photos, get this loaded so that I can um, get it uploaded tonight. Thanks again. Take care. Until next time. Bye.